It's a hard to believe story of love, loss, and never giving up. Oh, just listen to this. A mom here in the Piedmont suddenly loses her legs after a health issue, then her marriage, her entire life as she knew it. Mm. Wow, Shelly. Yeah, this is, a, you're around this, this woman literally for like 30 seconds, and you're just like, oh my gosh, mm. she is such not a giver upper, such a lover of life. Mm. You cannot help but be inspired by her. And today's Good For Her, Dee Evans is sharing her story in hopes of encouraging other people to never give up of hope. And it's a curveball that life throws you and you just hit at it. Dee Evans is a doctor of pharmacy, but she clearly has earned all kinds of advanced degrees in life. Live every day with intention and find what your purpose is. What a roller coaster of a wild ride. They gave me about a less than 2% chance of survival. She had mono in the eighth grade. From that, she developed anemia. Doctors took her spleen out. When you lose your spleen, um, you're very um, susceptible to certain types of organisms. She was good to go for 10 years or so. Bout one with strep pneumonia was a doozy. I was on complete life support. She survived, even giving the commencement speech for her graduating class. I was president of my pharmacy school graduating class and actually got to give my graduation speech. Ten years later, about two, she was married with a four-year-old daughter. I was told that I needed to have both legs amputated then. Her life as she knew it, including her marriage, ended pretty quickly after that. It wasn't something that you planned when you're thinking about the story of your life and how it's going to be told and written out. Um, but the people around you and the people that love you, um, that wasn't what they considered happening either. So everybody has to figure out what's best for themselves. A strong will. I'm independent and I'm stubborn. <laughs> very stubborn and a strong family as she calls her friends and family helped pull her through she met her now husband the love of her life a few years later it had never seemed to face him it, that i didn't have legs you know i always joked with him that it was a good thing that he wasn't a leg man you know <laughs> and that was kind of how it started i've had six episodes of septic shock at this point d has to be constantly vigilant about warding off future yeah, infection i, I want to get everything in that i can you know i mean I'm not going to wait for it to happen. I'm going to fight it ha from happening. She takes antibiotics every day and immune therapy every two weeks. I'm not going to say that, you know, I don't have pity parties. I mean, there are days where I'm like, oh, really? God, I just want to have my legs today. I mean, today would be a good day to have legs. She's now back at work, a busy mom and volunteer, and shares her story to encourage and give hope to others. You know, there's great days, there's good days, and there's bad days. But the bad days are less than the good and the great days. So we just enjoy them. You know, we take advantage of them. It's just the beginning of a beautiful new normal. Thank you. Oh, that was amazing, Shay. And that's how she looks at it, like a new normal. And when I say she volunteers, y'all, I mean, she's a mom, she works full time, and she's volunteering all the time. Yes. So just really well, impressive lady. Yes, she powerful is. woman and powerful message there. Mm. Well, that wraps it up for us. Thanks for watching the Fox 8 4 o'clock news. Julie and Neil show us what's all new at 5 o'clock. Natalie.